Hey guys, here playing as Adam and up against RP. Don't have any money in this hand, but I think it's going to be alright because we do have the drug dealer love good combination, which will let us draw a card for each turn. Don't mind that too much. And we're going to see him not find money, it looks like. Just going to ice his centrals up. So it could be a sign of, of a weakness there. Let's dive into the HQ and see if we get some early pickups. Uh, yeah, we, we, we kind of want, I would say, most of these cards. Going to see a Jackson. We're going to see an NAPD. Woof. That's the worst possible scenario for us, I have to say. Multi-threader, gamble. Oh, two gambles. Oh, that's actually dreadful. Yeah, that's real bad. All right, so we're going to go to zero. And pick up a daily cast. That would have been so much better to have in this peddler. He's going to gift us Chrysium, Grim, Hive. Okay, Susanu. Bit of a different mixture there. Not what you're usually going to see. And what was what's this ice going to be? Lotus Field, sure. I uh, don't think we need to go through that. I think we'll just credit up and lay down love good. Having a hard time clearing our hand now. We got these expensive cards early on. Not at all what you want to see. Sundew starts running. Ah, uh, that's not good. So we can run, run, click through. We don't have the money to kill it, is our issue. And this street peddler is not good for us at all. All right, so we're gonna just turn off, always be running, credit up, and put the daily cast, which is really not a good turn. We're struggling here. Cover his archives, presumably. Yeah. I mean, there's a Jackson there which you can get back. Not really happy about that. So Jackson will help him filter his NAPD out if he gets it. I'd say it's vital though to knock down this Sundew before it gets out of control. If he ends up having too much money, we're just completely toast. We need him to be uh, too poor to think about scoring, at least till we can stabilize this hand. All right. So let's let's go in here. Probably gonna let this crick fire. Yeah, always a crick. Give him the Jackson back. Sucks, but what can you do, right? And now we gotta suppress this Sundew. Oh, that's... That's a problem. That is a big problem. We can get the RDI down and hope he can't block his server off next turn. We gotta get some accesses at this point. Another peddler, potentially pretty good. Aesop, potentially pretty good. But he can dig for money, he can put back his celebrity gift. Yeah, he finds probably another pup. Or even Eli, actually. He could put something good here. I think we still need to go into this and hope we can get in. 
no, we can't. That's that's perfect for him. Yep. So let's see if our peddler brings us anything good this time. Ghost, sympathy, Parisha. Well, still no way in, into the hive. So we just lay the other daily cast and get some cards clawing in. This is going to be dead for a long time if we can't get some accesses. Mimic, probably not that good. The Susan knew it doesn't beat. May that may be Chrysium going on there. Okay, uh, let's let's poke against this. See how taxing this is. Pop. Huh. Does he have an agenda now? You know what? Our hand is terrible. Let's let's drop it. I don't think, well, we gotta try here. Show me an Issei, Grim Hedge Fund. Well, it doesn't get any worse than that. So he's gonna have money to bounce back up. We can't beat this hive. Uh, doesn't have much. We could laundry in later. Yeah, being able to stick that Sunday behind a hive really going to win the game for him because we are still lacking a way to deal with this efficiently. I think we just allow this to resolve again. We even have the Parisha to trash this for free, but it's it's not it's no good. Oh, we get a sucker. We can lay the inti eventually. Get our threader up. But I'm guessing this is a toll whistle or something pretty nasty. Cerebral static. Okay. Uh, let's run here. And we'll get the push out. He's gonna just flip it. Okay. Decoder, can we get one? Nope. Ah, oh, there we go. That's pretty much what we need right now. want to run fourth in the R&D. Oh, great. <laughs> this is going to a bad place. Yeah, I think we're going to lose our credit because we want to not run first. And let's lay our third peddler. Mimic. We need that. Clone ship. That's good. Parisha. That's, that's okay. in and we will kind of want the threader but I don't think we need it yet without the MU to support it Let's see if we can get lucky celebrity gift Nisei that's what we needed to find But 
unfortunately he has enough money to just triple ice all his servers. And it's not going to go well for us because we cannot shut off at least this one until he scores. That's the plan. There's nothing for the crick to fire, at least from... Yeah, I think we just go in here and let him uh, run it for nothing. Okay. So we can take a stab at this other sendu. Does it matter right now? I think it's probably still good to get rid of. Uh, it turns the crick back on though, which is not something we want to do. Love good we don't need. Okay. It is a booth. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, let's spend our suckers here. So we're gonna trash some assets, aren't we? Yeah, we gotta be trashing some assets later. Pad campaign, yeah, there it goes. And pop. No good. Get a brain chip, that's okay. Oh geez, HQ is loaded. It's letting pop on the archives, keeping three agendas in his hand. So is this the Susan here? Throwing away one agenda, perhaps. So his hand is, what's he doing? Did he put the agenda in the archives or did he put the, wait, what's going on here? Or he took back the. Oh, I see. He took back the install of the ice. Huh. Well, things aren't looking great for us. We actually do want. Get in the HQ, but I don't think we've got a good way to do it without Parasite. Uh, we can run and lose three. That's not very good. Let's get a sucker, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we should just take damage here. Run this brain chip, giving us two more MU, two more hand size. He's feeling pretty secure about this HQ. Well, let's let's give it a try. There's got to be something in here that we know is a genesis in his hand. What's this ice, Grim? Make for two, two suckers. Yeah. Peddler, and we can avoid losing a program here. Uh, we're not gonna be able to bid is a problem if we get in. Get future perfect.
Uh, let's see. Let's take some damage. Yeah. We're, we're gonna go. We're gonna try to score. Uh, we're gonna. Could bring multi threader for two. Yeah, let's do that. Spend, spend. Go to zero. And then we can break, break. Two credits to bid. Come on, show me the money. NAP contract. Nope. Nisei, yes. That's what we need. All worth it for that sweet, sweet Nisei. Hunting grounds, yeah, that's for like pawn shop fodder, but here's our pawn shop. So happy to see that. Hunting grounds also beats this toll booth we keep it around, which is kind of neat. So he's putting another, why did he trash the first one? Oh, I had to access the upgrade last time. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, so it's turn off always be running this turn. So we don't lose a dollar. Run zero. Uh, we're going to do you know, this future perfect in there. We can, but we can't run with oh, another sucker. We can get his pad back. If we run now. It's kind of a setup turn. That's gamble is pretty good right now. Gonna filter his HQ. There's still an APD in there. He's probably got the future perfect in there, which he's gonna ditch. She's trying to just outlast me. Let's set up again. We will turn off the minus one. The pad is basically neither here or there now. It doesn't stop our, like if he gets the Crucian back, it doesn't stop our interface. But we don't really necessarily even need this. Do we have another copy of it in the deck? We play, yeah, we do. So we'll sell that so we don't have to run first, click. I think we're going to keep the hunting grounds out. And this should be good. This is what we're going to do. Run or credit. And I'll run here. Use the hunting grounds to prevent losing three, which is amazing. Should be eight. I'm just gonna rerun, I think. I'll just rerun it. Here we go. So uh, we're gonna boost with the stealth, pay a threader, boost with the stealth. And we're gonna go for some sweet accesses. Come on, Cyberdex. Oh, that sucks. Marcus Batty. Well, get rid of that too. Hmm. Not what we wanted to see at all. So we are now in a bit of tough shape. No suckers makes this expensive to go through. He still hasn't scored anything. Now the crick is definitely turned on with the baddie in there. 
Can we close this game out? We got fresh stuff in the R&D, but we can't actually get past the Lotus Field without more stealth credits. We can always be running through, but we need to have three suckers for the booth. Hmm. This isn't looking too hot. I want to pawn anything? Maybe not yet. Uh, I know there's points in the archives that he's keeping, but I can't can't do anything about that. Could be a batty program here, batty grim kind of thing. We have any way at all to get in this server? I mean, we crick, let him get back, batty. Three ice, sixteen dollars. We know he has the Susan that we can't beat. Man, the Sundew is rampaging. That's what's killing us here. Huh. I think we're really just in a bad place. Can't effectively deal with the crick. We need to play admin in here, maybe. Yeah, I don't think we can do much here. The Cybernex is in the archives now, so we're not going to get sucker tokens built up. Oh, this is miserable. Had a good aggro start, but the Jackson was able to save the day. Centrals are nasty. Man, Crick helped the RP matchup so much. I don't even know what to do with this. We're just not going to contest that. To get more accesses, we have to... I don't know what we can even do here. Yeah, we're locked off sucker tokens. So our rig's falling apart against this Grim. We need to draw that are always be running, so we need to do. Yeah. And then next turn we can try using it to go through the Grim. That's all we got here. Problems we're playing Psy for it, which is not what you want to do. Declines to score out this turn. He's going to slow advance it so we can put another agenda in the remote, I guess. Oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go in the HQ right away. Don't think we've got a critical thing to pawn this turn. I think we just get in there. No, he does not res on the... What is this? I'm so confused. Oh, there's a Caprice. Yeah, we need to res a bit earlier, but that's fine. Yes, I figured he'd bid too because he had so much money. This is a big side game for us. Eli, celebrity gift. Ah, oh, fail. Can we attack this server? Is there any value in going in there? Probably not. He really wanted to get this out. What is that? Oh, let's pop the Jackson. We can get those points back into the archives so they'll come back into his HQ. Don't 
dozen shuffle points. Interesting. Stim's a good card. Uh, we can potentially stim the remote if we had the suckers to deal with. Oh, what can we do here? It's going to score that, brings us hive down. Now we can put another agenda if he has it. Sixteen in R and D, we're not gonna deck him. Two more suckers where we can run the R and D. We're we gonna just hit HQ again. I guess so, right? Future perfect. No, Eli Tollbooth. I want to contest this remote. Or is this another. <sighs> mm, 17 creds. So say we hit a Susanu. Bet this is a Jackson. Let's go for it. Yeah, it's a Jackson. Now the agendas go back in the deck. Find two hidden cards. Okay, so we've emptied out our stack, and now we've got a stim that we don't really need. Well, the stim. Hmm. Problem is, we can't handle big sentries. We can't run archives without getting purged. And Cyberdex makes this sucker so much worse than it was before. Peddler is great for drawing, but losing that first Ghost Runner was tough. This is probably the matchup with the most large code gates as well. Normally you'll have Booth, or maybe you'll have another different big code gate like Turing, but having multiple Lotus and multiple Toll Booth, quite a hassle. So he's making a play here. We've got to get in that remote. That's about the only thing we can do to, to not lose this game. Oh, a non-taxing ice. I'm happy about that. We need to see. Uh, Grim again. I wonder if we should have stimmed in here. I think it's okay. Yeah, the Lotus. We should have stemmed in here. This this is going to be a little really expensive. But we still have four for an APD. Yeah, that's what we're getting. Well, now you don't need to play side to win. That's our consolation. What don't we need? We don't need the 
safety first because we have no cards left, so we'll get rid of that. We're just trying our luck here. Is that what's happening? I'm going to use these credits mainly because I want to use my bad pup to bid on, on Psy. Oh, it's baddie. Yeah, that's potentially a problem. One or two. No, he bid zero. Oof, that's bad. Kind of messed his timing up. If he'd done it when we approach, or when he approached this, we would have had to pay money for this. Celebrity gift, pad campaign. Yeah, well. We're still forced to trash that, so we're going to get rid of that. We have our bad pub and Parisha. Parisha doing work. <sighs> That's bad. Can we get in here and pick this off? Maybe we need to make time to kill this earlier. I didn't think he would spend as much money as he did. Yeah, so we're now, uh, in a very scary position. But he doesn't know that we cannot, uh, oh wow, he's got three agendas in there. I don't know if I'm gonna gift that. He's just gonna give up. <laughs> oh man, he doesn't know. Okay. Guys, if you're in this court position, you don't concede there. Uh, I would not even gift. Like, don't show me that you have all these agendas. I would just slam the Nisei in the remote and click for credits or whatever. Like, pretend you're not full of agendas. He he had that. He was very had the very winnable game there. We were sweating bullets because we couldn't get through code gates, and we couldn't get through sentries anymore. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.